Kanojo Okari Shimas, aka Kanokari, or as it might be known in English, I'd Like to Borrow a Girlfriend, is a show I've already done a whole bunch of episodic reviews of, but this time at least I want to give you my final thoughts on season one through an anime critic lens rather than the typical red pill lens that I did all of my episodic reviews through. So first of all, how did I even end up watching this show? I don't really watch harem slash romance dramas these days. I was much more into those back when I was first watching anime, but I've sort of lost interest over the years, and shows like this really haven't been on my radar. Well, the thing is, my internet company accidentally disconnected me a month before moving, so for one night I was stuck without the internet, and I decided to watch TV instead of using my computer for a change. See, this is what happens when you live in Japan as a foreigner. There are always going to be misunderstandings no matter how good you get at Japanese, especially on phone calls. So this night I turn on the TV and I see Kanokari episode 4. This turned out to be one of the best episodes. A lot was going on. There was a major kiss scene at the beginning. You had people talking about breaking up, forming new relationships. You had people jumping off of boats to save other people's lives. It was really action-packed in a romantic drama sense. And I thought to myself, huh... This is only episode 4. Seems like there's a lot going on here. It might be better and more uh, interesting than your typical romance slash harm anime. Maybe I'll give this one a shot. And I've been listening to a lot of Red Bull content recently, so maybe I'll do it through that kind of angle. Unfortunately, the show, although it really did get off to a fast start in the first half, the second half really does slow down a bit and falls a lot into the typical harm trappings. So I can't give the show more than a single plus right now, and I do hope it does get better in the second season, which has already been announced. But yeah, for now, it's not a strong recommendation, just a single plus. I'm sure you might like it, but there's really uh, no significant value to it over another show in the same genre. Now, as far as the characters themselves, Kazuya, the main character, the male lead, um, I really have no strong opinion on him one way or another. To me, he just seems like a typical harem lead, especially through the second half of this first season. A lot of people online really seem to hate him. I don't get where that's coming from. The initial reaction that I got from this is that maybe he'd become a Makoto from School Days kind of character, where he actually becomes a real sort of player throughout the show, becomes really unethical, and really earns a lot of this distrust, a lot of this disdain from the fandom. But he's just another typical harm lead. He's not making any moves on anyone. He's not really doing anything wrong, except, I guess, lying to his grandmother. Really not a character that I have any strong feelings towards one way or another, but I don't think he deserves any of the hate he's been getting from the fandom. Maybe people know something about him that I don't in the future of the manga or the second season that's going to come out soon. But yeah, just another typical harm lead. As far as the girls go, once again, I don't really have much strong feelings towards the girls either. Um, they're all kind of hoes. I mean, they're basically rental girlfriends, lightweight prostitutes, and... Of the girls, I would say the one I like the most is the main girl, Mizuhara, but once again, she's the one you're designed to like, so um, can't really say that I like her any more or less than the fandom is supposed to at large. And the other girl is Ruka, she's alright, but, you know, Kazuya's has already shown that he's not going to make a serious move on her. I hope that changes. She's the one who would be, I think, the most interesting for him to try to get with, at least temporarily, before obviously he's going to end up with Mizuhara in the end. But yeah, at least nothing's going to happen on that front right now. Then there's the shy girl. Um, she was just introduced, so I have no thoughts on her. And Mommy. She's at least the most interesting and mysterious character right now. I don't like her. She seems like a huge bitch, but she seems like the one with the most interesting backstory at this point. All right, so... Those are my thoughts for now. Uh, season 2, whenever that comes out, I'm going to do some reviews of those. Probably going to continue with the Red Pill reviews. But until then, this show is probably going to be one that I forget about, to be honest.